The particles of matter are constantly moving, so they have kinetic energy. As heat energy is absorbed, the particles move faster, and so the kinetic energy increases. The temperature of a substance is a measure of the average kinetic energy of these particles. In a solid, these particles are held in fixed positions by attractive forces. With the temperature below the melting point, the particles don't have enough kinetic energy to break free from these positions. As heat is absorbed, the particles vibrate more quickly, gaining kinetic energy and so increasing the temperature. At the melting point, the particles have enough energy to break free. The solid starts to melt and the particles enter the liquid state. In a liquid, the attractive forces are still acting, but not strong enough to stop the particles sliding past each other. With the temperature below the boiling point, most particles don't have enough energy to escape the attractive forces. However, as heat is absorbed, the particles move more quickly, gaining kinetic energy and so increasing the temperature. At the boiling point, the particles have enough energy to break free from the attractive forces of nearby particles. The liquid starts to boil and the particles enter the gaseous state. In a gas, the attractive forces have little effect because the particles are moving too quickly and are too far apart. However, when a gas cools, heat is released and the particles slow down, losing kinetic energy and so reducing the temperature. As the temperature falls to the boiling point, the attractive forces pull the particles together, condensing the gas to a liquid. When a liquid cools, heat is released, slowing down the particles and reducing the temperature. As the temperature falls to the melting point, the attractive forces will hold the particles in fixed positions, freezing the liquid into a solid. Substances have different melting and boiling points because of differences in the attractive forces between particles. Magnesium is a solid at room temperature. The magnesium atoms are held in fixed positions by strong metallic bonds. And they can't break free of these bonds until the temperature reaches 650 degrees Celsius, the melting point of magnesium. Nitrogen is a gas at room temperature. Nitrogen molecules only experience weak intermolecular forces of attraction. The temperature needs to fall to minus 195 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of nitrogen, before these forces can cause a liquid to form. And at minus 210 degrees Celsius, the molecules slow down enough to be held in position as a solid. Magnesium oxide is a solid at room temperature. The magnesium and oxide ions are held in fixed positions by extremely strong ionic bonds and they can't break free of these bonds until the temperature reaches over 3,000 degrees Celsius. So, in this video we've seen that the temperature of a substance is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles, and that by absorbing heat, the particles can gain sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the attractive forces and so change their state and that removing heat energy reduces the kinetic energy, allowing the attractive forces to act and the change of state is reversed. We've also seen how the different melting and boiling points of substances are due to the different attractive forces between particles.